Today we're going to talk about sharpening your dental hand instruments. It's very important that you have a sharp instrument. It makes the procedure work much better and more efficient. Some of the materials you're going to need for uh, sharpening your instruments is going to be a flat Arkansas stone. You will also want to have a conical stone and sharpening oil. Another thing you might want to have is an acrylic stick. Um, if you don't have an acrylic stick, you can easily use a syringe case or something like that, but this is going to be what we use to test the sharpness of our instrument. And what we're going to do is we'll take this and we'll put our instrument on there and we'll see if it catches. A sharp instrument will actually catch when it's sharp, where a dull one will just kind of pull along and doesn't actually dig into our acrylic strip. The first thing we want to do when we're sharpening is to go ahead and prepare our Arkansas stone. And to do that, I'm just going to take one to two drops of the oil and place it on the stone. Then I'm going to just take a piece of gauze, a piece of tissue, and just gently kind of spread that out. I don't want to have too much oil on there, but just enough to spread this out as we work. I'm going to start with sharpening a scaler today. And it's very easy when I sharpen instruments. I like to make things as easy as possible for you. And we're going to be using the face of a clock when we sharpen our instruments. Now, to make it easier for everyone to see, I'm actually going to use these very large instruments that you can you know, see a little bit better than we can on the tiny hand instruments. This is a scaler, and a scaler has two sharp edges and a very sharp tip. So when we look at the parts of our instrument, this is the working end and this is the shank. So what I want to do is have my shank at exactly 12 o'clock, straight up and down. And now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this very large sharpening stone, but I'm going to put my stone at approximately 1 o'clock if I'm sharpening this side. And I'm going to just go up and down in easy motion. I hold my instrument still, but I'm going to keep going up and down with my stone. I'm also going to bring it around so it gets to the point because we want to keep the point of our scaler intact. Then when I switch, I'm going to switch hands, going to 11 o'clock with my stone. My instrument is still straight up and down at 12, and I'm just going to go up and down, okay? So to do this on the real instrument, here is my scaler. My shank is straight up and down. I'm going to go ahead and take my instrument at about uh, one o'clock, and I'm just going to go up and down a few times, coming to the point. I'm going to switch again at 11 o'clock, and just up and down, coming to a point. Now what I'll do is take my conical stone, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that into the face of the instrument and just kind of flick off any burrs that might have been created as I was doing the sharpening of the sides. Now I need to test it to make sure it's sharp. So I'm going to go in there, and yes, I get a good bite as I'm in there. My instrument is now sharpened. When it comes to sharpening the curettes, most uh, practices will have what we call a universal curette. And a universal curette will actually have two sharp sides on the working end, okay? So we have two sharp images here. So what I'm gonna do is hold my instrument so that my working or my shank is at 12 o'clock again. I'm gonna take my stone in at one o'clock, sharpen, and then I'm gonna work it around and bring it around so I'm keeping that toe nice and rounded. I'm gonna switch sides and to make this a little easier, I'm going to have the working and pointing at myself when I do the other side. And I'll bring this up at 11 o'clock, going up and down and around and keeping that toe nice and sharp. So using an actual curette, I'm gonna go ahead and have my working end, or my shank, excuse me, straight up and down. I'm gonna bring my instrument at about one o'clock, up and down and curving around to keep that toe nice and rounded. When I switch hands, I bring the toe pointing to me. I go to 11 o'clock and I just kind of bring it around and keep that toe nice and smooth. Again, taking the conical stone and just working off any burrs that might have occurred. 
Realistically, it only takes a few seconds to sharpen your dental instruments if you keep them sharpened on a regular basis. You can sharpen them before you use them or before you autoclave them. It really doesn't matter which way you, you sharpen them. If you don't feel comfortable with sharpening your instruments, there's two other options. You could talk to your dental hygienist and they'll be happy to show you how to sharpen instruments. Or you can send the instruments out to another company for sharpening. However, make sure if you do that, that you have enough instruments to cover the time that those instruments are, are at the uh, sharpening facility.